Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marion. In today's video, I am trying out um, a couple of new products that are new to me. Doing a full face, uh, like a light glam. And to give my first impressions, first thoughts on the Fenty Beauty new um, Velour Blush Lighter. I have this in Juicy Peach. So before I jump into this video, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoy, give it a big thumbs up, hit the notification bell, and without further ado, let's hop into it. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You give okay, hopefully you can't hear the music in the background. In today's video, I am trying out the new Fenty Beauty Hot Cheeks Velour blush lighter and this is in juicy peach let me pull out the packaging or pull out the product to show you real quick okay this is very different totally different than the standard components let me see if i have it's a little bit smaller yeah definitely smaller than like the bronzer so this one is 4.5 grams and this one is 6.23 grams. So, and then the packaging isn't the um, gold as well. Something very different. And then this is what the shade looks like. Let me swatch it for you. Well, at least the protective part is easy to take off. So this is what it's coming off as. Hopefully you can see it pretty well. Um, it's not as, well, it's supposed to be a blush lighter. So I'm hoping that it has a little bit more sheen uh, to this, but it is pigmented. I like the way it looks on my skin thus far. We shall see. It retails for $26. You can get it from Ulta or Sephora or Fenty's website. Just remember, if you shop at Ulta, you can use your points. And I should have used my points, but it's whatever. So let's get into doing this face. I haven't really been in my makeup bag the way that I normally be, but you know, Trying to get back into the swing of things. So for primer, I LIS primer. I'm gonna use it up. I have about this much left of it. So might as well use what I have. I do have this brow glue instant brow styler nonstick from NYX makeup i want to try this one as well it's in transparent so this isn't new it's new to me and it's in my little collection right here of stuff i don't know if i'm supposed to use this before or after let's see I definitely need to clean up my brows. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. And moving on to Sephora's brow pencil. This is in soft charcoal. I don't know why it took me so long to find the name of it. So I wanted to do an eye look using the Gemini quad from Colourpop, but as you can see, the shimmer is busted. I don't know what happened. So I'm going to use these two, um, well, the other three, since it's Gemini season. Quick little one-two look. I forgot how smooth Colourpop's um, mattes can be and pigmented. A lot of people really don't talk about ColourPop the way they used to, but they're still an affordable option. 
they come out with a lot of like collections and from my understanding is they don't really keep like the same stuff so that's why they release so many different palettes all the time it's like a revolving door of their collection so if you don't get it then it's like it's gone it's not coming back i don't know i guess that business model is working for them you see how it just blended so well no problems not patchy anything and i didn't even have to set the um eyeshadow base that's a plus for me let's see what this shimmer is going to do okay I didn't even spray the brush for a foundation I'm gonna use the Prada reveal skin optimizing foundation it has SPF 17 in it and this shade is hmm don't really say okay well it doesn't say my bad I'll try to look look it up and put it down below coverage is pretty good shade range I really can't say I'm happy about the shade range because yeah that's considered deep that's a deep shade and i'm not deep i know i went on a, a little rant about that when i showed the foundation in a haul and when i used it initially i mean it has good coverage for me to only have done like two pumps as you can see i promise you i have other concealers i just want to use this one up before I go into anything else, you know? I like this brand. I just need a lighter version of this concealer. It may look light on camera, but in person, I can just go a tad bit lighter to highlight under my eyes. I'm also going to use the cream bronzer from milani this is in spicy season 130 and this is what it looks like hopefully i'm using the right brush i'm gonna spray my face to blend this out definitely so spray my face with tatcha real quick oh what is this what is this morphe continuous prep Actually, let's try this. This is something new that I picked up as well. It's not new as far as a new release, but it's new to me. From Morphe, I'm used to the black can. And this one is supposed to have ceramides and antioxidants in it. It has a scent, but not a bad one. So I'm going to set my under eye with One Size Beauty and Translucent. Just want to clean up under my bronzer a little bit, just a little. Set my face using Bobbi Brown's Sheer Finish Press Powder and Soft Honey. This is what it looks like. Spray my face one more time. It's not giving like a, a hydrating look compared to the black bottle. I don't want to look too matte. So I guess I'll use some of the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist as well. Just a little. So my face is kind of dry down. Now let's go into, you know, the main attraction, the Fenty Beauty Velour Blush Lighter in Juicy Peach. Let's see what this 
what this do. Let's see. I just be picking up brushes. Don't know if it's the right one to use. Oh, this is pretty on the skin. As much as I don't need any more makeup products, I might need the other two. Look at that. That's pretty. I feel like I have something in my collection that reminds me of this. That's pretty. Oh wow. I keep putting more and more because it's pretty. I haven't really been wowed by a product in a minute. And I like this. I need the other two. So if you see me in a video with the other two, charge it to my heart. I don't need it, but I mean, that's pretty. That's really, really pretty. Hmm. Okay, Fancy, I see you. So let's hurry up and finish the rest of this face. I definitely don't need highlight. That'll be doing too much. So I have been using a primer for my lashes, but I'm not gonna do that. Just go right into mascara. I don't want to put on any lashes, so last thing is lips. So my cousin gave me this for my birthday. This is the Kylie Jenner Matte Lipstick and Lip Liner. This is in Bite Me, it's a matte. It may not match this look, but let us pray, <laughs> especially my eye look. I typically don't wear eyeshadow when I'm doing like a red. And this, it may not go. Let's see. Yeah, that's not, that's not the right time. It's not the right time, it's not the right red either. So, let me take this off. I'm not making that mistake again. So, I'm gonna use what's right in front of me and this is the NYX Line Loud Pencil. So, I'm gonna use Sephora's Gloss. definitely need to spray my face because it, it looks dry. It doesn't look, I mean, it's cool. It's okay. I'm going to use the Dewy Setting Spray Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray from e.l.f. to set it one last time. So this is the final look. I'm loving the way everything came out. Get this, it is beautiful. I love the way it looks on my skin. And I'm not gonna lie, I was a little skeptical because when I was doing a swatch, it felt like really, really dry, but it's far from it. When you're applying it on your face, they have, I think, three or four different shades. I only saw three at Ulta. So I'm gonna go back and get the other two. And I think all of them have some type of peach in their name, but this is so pretty. This is very stunning. Okay, it's $26, like I said, and it's a 10 out of 10 for me. I really liked this cream bronzer from Milani. This was just like a spur of the moment type of purchase. If you're looking for something more affordable and it's also a cream bronzer, then go to Sephora, Target, Walmart, wherever Milani is sold. It's, it's literally in all of the drugstores. This brow glue from NYX, I like it. This is another affordable alternative from ABH or Refi. All of those other brow gels. This one here gives you the laminated look as well. And the pencil filled in with no issues and no problems whatsoever. Um, I'm a little on the fence for this because I thought it would be a little bit more like um, hydrating since it has ceramides in it. But I think I'll stick to the original black can. So there it is. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. And as always, 
Thank you for watching. Baby, you